What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Scott Zarwell. Really, really simple tutorial. He asks a question, can you demonstrate how to do a chase event? I really need to do one for my project. I tried, but I just couldn't get it to work. Um, Scott, it's really easy. All you're gonna do is make a new event, give it an image, set it to walking. <clears throat> Should be uh, walking by default. Uh, the trigger, you're gonna do event touch. You could do player touch as well, but it's easy to avoid a player touch event trigger so do event touch as a trigger priority will be same as characters most likely if it's a, a an actor or something like that you're gonna set the movement to approach and then you're gonna set the speed to normal and the frequency to highest and you can change these to change the speed of the event um, I usually default to normal highest unless it's a stronger monster and then I'll normally go normal and then uh, higher frequency <clears throat> that gives you a little more time to get away from them um, your player can move uh, at this speed uh, with the highest frequency on normal uh, if you're not holding the, the shift button or the acceleration button. If you want them to run as fast as you can when you're sprinting, you do 2x faster. If you want them to run uh, twice as fast as you at full speed, you would do 4x faster. So let's see what it looks like on normal highest. Oh, at this event, all it's doing is playing a sound effect when the event is triggered. I'll show you another event after this, uh, how you can make it so that something attacks you if it, if it hits you. So the cat's chasing me about the same speed as my walking speed. But if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm auto running or if I'm running, I'm twice as fast as the cat. But if it gets close to me, it's going to meow at me. No, Mr. Kitty. No. All right. So let me show you um, how to do another event. Let's make an event that'll attack you if it uh, if it reaches you. So let's make uh, this one. So what you're gonna do for this one is <clears throat> the same setup on the left hand side, but you're gonna do battle processing. Have it call whatever battle you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick something. Uh, after that, you're going to do a self switch. So turn on self switch A. Do a new page with no image and select self switch A. And if you're going to have multiple enemies uh, in, a, in on one map, you probably want to name them. So this would be like Rat 1. So we'll go same as character, event touch, normal and highest frequency. We're also going to select uh, approach. And we'll put Mr. Kitty over there so that uh, it doesn't just keep meowing at us. All right. So Mr. Kitty's still going to run at us. But if uh, the rat touches us, it's going to initiate uh, the battle. which would really easily kill us. Um, so let's change that really quick. And after the event, uh, after the battle, the self switch will turn on. It'll switch this event to page number two, and this event should disappear. And there you have it. A really simple chase event. No, Mr. Kitty! Alright, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Thank you so much for your special request. We just, uh, I just got back into, uh... The, the groove of things got my internet upgraded so I have a higher upload so there might be some more live streams coming up in the future that was holding me back in the in the past I was limited to 5 megabit per second upload now I have 30 megabit per second upload so that's a, a really a big change there so we might be doing some more uh, live streams like I said but continue to put your special requests in the comments below and thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next tutorial